This is my back deck that I'm gonna put across the back. I got my fiberglass resin, my fiberglass mat, got my gloves, these chip brushes. I ain't gonna use all of those. Probably just need about three or four. Um, I'm a little bit more hard and just in case I run out. The cup, mixing cup. <laughs> this is my mixing cup right here. What y'all know about that? Only in the south, but <clears throat> and I need something to stir it up with. Oh, we using this because I never use this shit. The fuck is this like a start here, Ellen Ranch or something? Yeah, I ain't gonna never use that. All right, I'm gonna cut y'all off. I'll cut you back on. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is mix my resin with my hardener. I usually don't use no measurements i just eyeball mine then i pour the resin over the fleece i pour it over quick because this resin get hard real quick i use this little chip brush to kind of like stroke the resin into the fleece because i want to soak the fleece with the resin before it get dry and it start getting hard in the cup quick so i try to work quick when i'm using this resin Hey, this stuff is dry now. We're gonna let it sit overnight. I ended up letting it sit for a while. Been like a week. Probably longer than that. But I'm gonna knock it down now that it's dry with this. All right, I got a little ahead of myself. I just measured these things with the measuring tape real quick. Got me a piece of measuring tape to catch y'all up. I measured it all the way long ways to find out where the middle is. And then once I found the middle, I put this speaker right next to the piece of tape. Then I lay another piece of tape with this one right here. I lay this piece of tape, go right here, you know, lay this piece of tape. I want them all spaced out evenly. And then once I lay the tape, put my speaker in between the tape. Like this. Go around them up. Go.
All right. Now I like drilled all my holes out and I got the jigsaw and I'm just basically just tracing the line that I drew around the speakers. I try to stay a little bit inside the line because I don't want the holes to be too big. But other than that, I'm just cutting the holes in between the tape, keeping them the same distance. Let's y'all now that baby is gone. To show y'all what's going on. I'm going with these kicker DS speakers because they match the inside of my car and they work pretty good. I didn't use them before. I was impressed by the sound. I'm taking them all out. So that when I put the screw holes in. And just go straight across. I don't want them to be all, I don't know, jagged looking. I don't know. I was gonna use these little wood screws, but they come with the screws. So I'm just gonna use the screws that it come with. These wasn't bad neither. I was looking on Amazon, I was gonna buy these speakers for like 190. Got them for 150 at the audio, so didn't even have to wait on. Them. Let me get one of those. Huh? Let me get one of those. I'll tell you. Surprise me. You ain't getting the blue one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it's only one left, baby. And I didn't get to try it. Sounds about right. Gonna be the best sounding system you ever heard, baby. I was gonna go through and mark all the holes. But I'm just gonna do it one at a time because I, I wanna be safe. Probably gonna have to rebondo this hole too. I don't know. Good enough for me. <clears throat> Alright, child. Got the speakers all the way in here now. They all screwed in. I even put this little back. Called the boom mat. I don't know. Ordered this shit off Amazon. Protect the back and it's supposed to make it sound a little better. I hooked these two speakers up together. These two up together. These two up together. So they just have three little outlets on it instead of six. I'm put an amp on these babies. So they sound good. But anyway. Put these clamps on here. So this shit don't be moving on me. Let's see if this works. I'm just trying some shit. One down, six 
six more to go. Here I start trying to do this cutout today. I already started cutting along this little line right here. I gotta finish cutting over there. But finna finish cutting that off. Alright, let's see what we're looking like in here. I did a little line cut across the bottom. This shit here is so jagged because I started cutting over here on this first line, but on the back side, it's like a little wall right there. I was cutting on the other side. Let me see if I can show you. Anyways, I had to cut over some so I can get on the other side of that wall right there. I'm cutting that part on the back now. Halfway through it. It's just a little uncomfortable cutting upside down like that. So back to it. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all, these speaker grills done finally came in. I've been waiting on them. They don't sell them nowhere but online. Shit take forever. I done got it in here. And I done cut the holes, but put these grills over them like this. Mm. Look a little tacky. I don't know. But that's what it's gonna look like. Let me open this other door. It's getting hot in this month. All right, I'm gonna screw them down. All right, I screwed this one on, but it's like, I don't know, it's like, it's not on good. It's screwed in, but it's only screwed into the fabric, so it's kind of raised a little, and I want it to be like flush on there like that. But it ain't holding it tight enough with just the screw. So I'm gonna go on and use some glue and glue them down so that they don't have these little gaps in it like that. I want it to sit down tight. Like that. Put some glue on it. And then sit something on here to like keep a little pressure on it. Go ahead and do this. So all these speaker grills is on here, y'all, and that's what it's gonna end up looking like. They like on there, on there too. Like none of that. None of that uh wiggly stuff. <laughs> got a mile in now. I got a mile hooked up and wired up to come out. Right here, ready to go into the amp. So, 